Hey guys, so continuing with our medical fact series, I'm up here with a new video and which I would be telling a handful great clinically important points which would, you know, be really uh, beneficial for you uh, to sharpen your clinical skills as well. So the first point I want to discuss with you is about tamoxifen. Tamoxifen, as we all know, is given in breast cancer patients uh, for the prevention as well as the treatment. But we need to know the effects of tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is an antagonist at breast, but it is agonist at the clotting system, endothelial lining, as well as the bone. So, if the tamoxifen is given to a breast carcinoma patient, you need to remember that it can, you know, make the endometrial lining of the uterus thick and lead to the endometrial carcinoma as well. Uh, similar drug to the tamoxifen is raloxifen, which, uh, you know, uh, is not an agonist at the uterus. So, the uh, chances of the uh, endometrial carcinoma are uh, like greatly reduced and basically it is used for the osteoporotic patients because it is an agonist at bone. Uh, the next point is about DVT. Basically, DVT, the risk factors are prolonged immobility due to a major surgery or you can say that if the patient is pregnant or is taking tamoxifen or OCPs. So, these are the risk factors for the DVT. The best initial test would be the duplex ultrasonography. Uh, the best treatment would be an oxaparin subcutaneous with warfarin for 6 months. But if the DVT is recurrent, occurring after, uh, you know, short intervals of time, uh, so you need to continue this treatment lifelong. This is really important. The most common, the next one is about the most common uh, hereditary thrombophilia. It is the factor 5 leading mutation. The fourth one I'm going to discuss in this video is about the peripheral vascular disease. Basically, the peripheral vascular disease, there is a... Uh, uh, angina of the legs that is you can uh, also know uh, call it as the claudication that is the person will have pain while walking and the pain would be relieved with rest and the risk factors are the smoking which is uh, the main risk factor for peripheral artery disease uh, what's important is that the patient would come with the smooth shiny skin with the loss of the hair and the sweat glands. Uh, the best initial test would be ankle brachial index. The normal value of the ankle brachial index is 1 but if it is uh, within 0 0.5 to 0.9 then you have to raise your clinical suspicion to peripheral artery disease. What would be the best initial treatment? The best initial treatment would be to quit smoking. This is the first thing you would advise this patient. Uh, the next, uh, the best drug for peripheral artery disease is salustazole uh, and another modification you would tell the patient uh, is to control the diabetes mellitus as well as the hypertension and keep the LDL levels less than 100. Thank you.